what's going on guys today we're gonna check out how to install Viper for Android in Lollipop so I'm on Moto E with 5.1.1 and on a custom ROM Slim Saber so first thing is download and install the Viper for Android FX app uh, all of the apps that I show in this video will be updated in the description given below so just click on the link and you'll get to the downloads so once you have installed Viper for Android you open it up and it will ask you to install or update the V4A driver so click yes and select any one of these you want it's up to your preference so I want super audio quality but this might result in battery drain and if your CPU is not capable enough for handling such massive performances well then let it be in the lowest setting now hit OK grant super ACU permission and once it's installed you have to reboot I'm not going to reboot it now and actually here is the settings that you get to customize almost all part of the music listening options uh, it's like you can increase your bass using the enable vi viper bass you need clarity in the music use this and there's much more customization previously I uploaded a video on uh, saying how to use Dolby Digital Atmos which is a pretty much basic version of audio effects and this viper for Android is for advanced users so once installing driver is done hit that three buttons out there and go to FX compatible mode and click on compatible once you've clicked that there's nothing much to check here but if you want you can check for update once in a while once that's done go to settings about phone scroll down and see if the cell Linux status is in permissive if it's in enforcing then you need to change it to permissive so for that we use an app called cell Linux mode changer so here it is I'll be providing the app of this in the description below the link will be there just download it and click on permissive once that's changed you're good to go again and one final thing to do is install busybox because Viper for Android requires busybox to be installed and in a few systems it will uh, the busybox installation directory might be system slash bin or xbin so explore with that mine is in system slash bin and then click install all right so once you see a successful message you can quit that and then finally reboot and enjoy Viper for Android so that was pr pretty much it a quick tutorial on how to use Viper for Android if you are still not getting it compatible with your device let me know in the comments below and I'll be there to help you out so that was it for now and I'll talk to you guys in the next one I'm ready for the love you now.